In this video, I'll show you how to change the WooCommerce no shipping method available text in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so this video is based on this article here and I'll leave the link in the description below so you can actually go ahead and copy the relevant code that we're using throughout this video to change uh, no shipping method available text. And just to give you a quick preview, so this is the default text that WooCommerce shows when there's no shipping method available. For example, I've got um, shipping set up for our US customers, but there's none for our UK customers. So there's no shipping methods available. So I'm gonna show you how you can customize this text. For example, I've went ahead and just customized the text here. You can add whatever you want. Okay, so with that out of the way, and I'm gonna add this code in our theme files. So currently I'm using the hello elemental theme. Okay, so ideally you'd wanna add this code in a child theme. So when you update that particular theme that you're using, you won't lose the change that we're going to create here. Alternatively, there's various code editing plugins that will allow you to add um, snippets to various parts of your website. So I'll show you later on how we can achieve this by using a plugin, but I'm just going to add this code to our default theme files. Okay, so I'm going to navigate to appearance and then theme editor. Okay, and this is the theme that I'm currently using. So I'm just going to quickly add this code to our functions that PHP. Okay, so I'll just scroll down here and then we'll go ahead and add our code just below here. Okay, so I'm going to navigate back over to WeSuite here. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a filter hook and this will hook into where that message is shown, okay? That no shipping methods available is shown, okay? So I'm gonna copy this code here and then I'm gonna paste it below here, okay? So we've got our filters added. And then finally, we need to go ahead and actually add the callback function, okay? So we'll copy this code here and then we'll paste it below this one. Okay, so that's our completed code. And to change the text, you'll just, where it says return here in the quotation, make sure you leave the quotation mark intact, okay? Otherwise that will break the code and you'll most likely get an error on your website. So before actually editing anything, I recommend creating a backup of your website before you mess with any lines of code, okay? So I'm just gonna change this to say test, for example. So I've just created this text here, which says testing our no shipping method code. Okay. So we can go ahead and update this file. Okay. And that's saved successfully. So now when we refresh um, our checkout page, so again, this is the default message that WooCommerce shows. And now when we refresh it, here we can see our new message. Okay. So whenever there's no shipping methods available, it will show this code here and it's the same on a cart page and on the checkout page as well. Okay. One final thing to mention um, with regards to this code here, if we navigate back over here at the start, we copied this code initially, and then we went ahead and copied this one. If you wanted to copy the entire code in just one go, where it says um, the whole code will look something like this, we can just copy um, all this code here and then paste it in, okay? But again, I gotta stress, back up your site and ideally add this code to your child theme or we can use a um, code editor plugin. So now just quickly install a code editor plugin and show you how to add it that way, okay? So I'm gonna remove this code that we've just added here. I'm gonna update the file and then I'm gonna navigate to plugins, add new, and then I'm gonna search for something like code editor. So I don't have any particular preference um, on a code editor plugin. Um, all of them should work fine. Okay, since we've already got this code snippets um, installed, I'm gonna go ahead and use this particular plugin, okay? So I've already got it installed. So we'll just update it and then we'll activate it, okay? Okay, so that's updated fine. And then let's go ahead and activate it. Okay, so now we've got this snippets menu and then I'm gonna click add new snippet. Okay, and since it's a um, PHP code, we're gonna leave it to this default function here. Okay, so we can create a name as well for this one. And you wanna give it something meaningful, something memorable. So when you look back at the code, you know exactly what it's doing, okay? So I'm just gonna say change. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and add in our code. So again, we'll head back over to WeSuite and then instead of copying these two codes individually, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the entire code here, okay? And then as before, where it says return here, in between the quotation mark, we wanna go ahead and add our message, okay? So we can just say test, 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 okay? And that's fine. And then we can specify where we want this code to run. So I'm gonna set it to everywhere and let's go ahead and save and activate okay so that saves fine so now let's refresh our checkout page once again and see if our codes displaying here okay 
Okay, perfect. And here you can see our new code that we've added, test, test, test. Okay, and and just to wrap up, if you wanted to create a similar checkout page to this one, this is using the WeSuite all-in-one checkout plugin. There's a free enough pro version, so you can go ahead and check this out if you want to go ahead and upgrade the checkout experience um, for your customers. And that's how you change the default WooCommerce no shipping method available text in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Cool.